is a beautiful day here in Houston, Texas, and yes. we decided to make some onion rings. We're gonna take this humble yellow onion and turn it into a beautiful plate of onion rings. And you guys stay tuned, this is gonna be great. Bye. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take this beautiful Vidalia onion and I'm gonna cut it in half inch rings. So to start with that, you take off the ends. And we're gonna try to make these in approximately half to quarter inch rings. This is more of a quarter inch on this one, so. All right. And we're gonna take them apart. This one goes over here. Nothing wrong with it, it just has a little hole in it. And then I'm not gonna actually, actually cut this one a little more. Only thing we don't use are the, the non-hole rings. Got these cut, now we're gonna go ahead and get them coated. Okay, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and preheat your oven. I'm gonna put mine on convection bake at 425 degrees. And we'll mix all of our wet ingredients and we'll get started. Okay, so first we're gonna go in with our dry ingredients. I've got a half cup of just all-purpose flour. Gonna go in with that. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch, which is gonna make it nice and extra crispy. Make sure I get all that out of there. We're gonna go in with one teaspoon of smoked paprika, a half teaspoon of garlic powder. That rings a bell. <laughs> a half teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of just plain salt. We're using Himalayan salt. Half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And then this is optional, but we like to use a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper just to give it a little bit of a kick. Okay, get all that in there. Then we're gonna mix this up really well. It's just gonna mix the mixture with my little whisk. All right. Now what we wanna do is turn this into a wet batter. So I've got a half a cup of just plain water here, filtered water, that I'm gonna pour in slowly so we can whisk it up and make it into a nice batter. I'm just whisking this, making it into a little batter here that we're going to dip our onion rings in and then dip them into panko breadcrumbs. All right, so we got this mixed up really well. I'll go grab the panko and we'll be right back. We have our batter mixed, so I'm gonna go in with our first onion ring slice. We just sliced these in about half inch to a quarter of an inch thickness. I'm not gonna batter my fingers this time, so I am going to use my fork just drip it in here, let it drain off some of the excess before I put it into the panko. Batter, batter, swing, batter. Swing, batter, 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 batter. <laughs> All right. Hit this one out of the park, I tell you. Oh, goodness. So I'm just gonna try to get some of this coating over all of these. I'm gonna turn it over with my fork. I'm not gonna batter my fingers this time. Not at all. <laughs> I think you will. Yeah. This panko is a really great product. If you have not used it, you need to get some. It's available at all grocery stores. But it just makes things so much crispier than just your basic breadcrumb. So you can see I've got that battered really nicely there. I'm just gonna set it over here on my parchment lined baking sheet. All right, we've come to the last one that we're going to batter and put on our cookie sheet and you'll notice we did not use any oil with this so you know if you're looking for a lower calorie alternative to the deep fried onion rings this is a great way to do it we also make these in the air fryer works fantastic but just because i wanted to make a larger batch today i decided to do it in the oven so 
All right, here's the last one going on the cookie sheet. I'm gonna clean up my fingers, even though I said I wasn't gonna batter my fingers, I did just a little bit. I'm gonna clean all this up, then we'll get it in the oven. We have our onion rings battered, and I have them on a nice nonstick uh, tray, but I also used a sheet of parchment paper just to make sure they didn't stick. So this is a fantastic nonstick pan. I'll drop a link in the, in the comments below, or in the box below so you guys can take a look at them. I'm gonna go into our preheated 425 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. You might wanna keep an eye on yours. All ovens vary, uh, temperatures vary, so keep an eye on them, but we're gonna take a look at them at about 10 to 12 minutes, see how they're doing. We'll be right back. Okay, we think these are done. Let's take a quick look in the oven. Oh, those oh, look so good. They've been cooking for the full, f we cooked yeah. them for the full 15 minutes. Actually, I think it was about 16. I got, I had to take Sadie outside real quick, so I got distracted. But those look beautiful. Oh my goodness, so good. All right, so I've got a little bit of flaky salt here. I'm just gonna drop onto the top of them just to give them a little extra flavor. and looks good to me all right we are going to plate these up and we'll be back for the taste test sadie girl you should cook girl. are you looking for some onion rings do you want some onion? you dogs can't have onion mm. at all they're bad for dogs oh, but can i have rings you can have rings just no <laughs> onions all right we are back and look at this beautiful plate oh my goodness. of onion ring goodness these are so crispy they are hot out of the oven mm. And we just got a couple of little dipping sauces. I, we have a plant-based uh, ranch dressing that we like to buy, that we like to use, and just plain old uh, ketchup. Ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> Very bougie, but we're gonna do it today. So why don't you go first and give them a try? I don't know. Come on. My goodness. I, I like the little ones because they don't break as well. Yeah. Oh, crispy, crunchy. <laughs> mm, <laughs> Is it my good? gosh, yes. That tastes amazing. Really? I'm gonna try it by itself first before I put anything on it, so. Mmm. Mmm. You can taste the onion. You can taste mm -hmm. everything. It's so good. Mm, so crispy. No oil anywhere. Mmm. -mm. Mm. It's so crispy. I love panko. If you guys mm -hmm. haven't used panko, you need to get some panko. You can use it on anything you fry or bake in the oven. But this is exceptional. All that flavor, I know. And all the seasonings in there. Sweet from the onion and the, the savory from mm -hmm. all the seasonings. Mm. I'm going to try a little bit of boozy ketchup with mine. Oh, I'll try to catch up with you. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Mmm. Yes. Oh, it's so crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are so glad you guys joined us today to mm. make these incredible onion rings made with panko breadcrumbs. You've got to try this. I tell you, this is, this is wonderful. Fourth of July is coming up. This would be a hit oh, at your yeah. party. Great side dish. Definitely. Yeah. But again, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't yet joined our YouTube family, Living the Alleyway, please do so. Uh, it's Living the Alleyway, all one word. And if you like this video today, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. And hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. Mm -hmm. we've, yes. We've enjoyed spending time with you guys today. It's been a lot of fun. And we will see you next time on the next episode. Bye. Bye. And for an extra, extra fun idea for your 4th of July party. Great for the backyard. Great for me to clean up. It's a dead ringer for something else. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh so. man. Okay. All right. I'm putting him to bed. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye bye. <laughs>